Now to the latest after another train went off the tracks in Ohio. Tonight, we have the tales of a new plan to keep the rail safe as Congress prepares to grill train company officials. Bree Buckley has more. Growing concerns after yet another Norfolk Southern train derails in Ohio, this time in Springfield near Dayton on Saturday. That train was carrying hazardous material, though officials say no dangerous chemicals were spilled. Still, experts say the railroad company is downplaying these incidents. Well, the facts are if the tracks in the United States aren't safe, the communities are not safe from the hazardous materials that are carried through each and every day. Monday, Norfolk Southern announcing a six-point safety plan in response to the toxic train derailment in East Palestine, including enhancements to what's called the hot bearing detector network to catch overheated wheel bearings faster. NTSB's preliminary report says the crash in East Palestine was caused by a failed wheel bearing that overheated. It's obviously, safety at Norfolk Southern is a priority. I've talked ad nauseum about how, how important safety is and what we're doing to make sure that we learn from every incident. As the NTSB continues to investigate both incidents and the company as a whole. The numbers are trending upward on accidents overall uh, and also uh, for Norfolk Southern. With that said, we're going to look at uh, Norfolk Southern's overall accident history. We're going to look at culture in the company, safety culture. We will look at management practices and policies. We'll really dig in. Norfolk Southern is offering more financial assistance to residents in East Palestine for necessities like lodging, travel, food and clothing while the cleanup continues. That's at the request of the EPA. The rail company CEO is expected to testify on Capitol Hill Thursday as lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are pushing for train safety reform. Russ. Okay. Bree Buckley in the newsroom. Thank you.